The weather company chose AWS as our core platform because when you're making a big transformation, you're placing multiple bets all at the same time, you're looking for every opportunity you can to lower risk. AWS was a clear choice for me because it helped me have the confidence that the services that we needed, the compute that we needed, the storage that we needed was going to be there. And that really enabled that decision to move along very quickly. I'm Bryson Kaler. I'm the Executive Vice President, CTO and CIO for The Weather Company. The Weather Company's core business is creating the world's best forecast so that people, consumers, and businesses can all make better decisions in everything they do. We ingest data from over 800 different sources continuously. We turn that data into forecasts. We've split the world up into grids, and we're creating an updated forecast for three billion locations every 15 minutes. It creates about four gigs of data every second. The weather company has been going through a really large transformation over the last several years, moving from being solely focused uh, on the cable TV business, moving ourselves more and more into being a big data technology business. We've had to really rebuild all of our technology in order for us to provide all of the services and capabilities that we had envisioned. Migrating to the cloud was a key component of us becoming more agile. We needed to get out of the data center business. Uh, I had 13 data centers, you know, two, a little over two and a half years ago that were all interconnected, interdependent on one another, and the cloud, specifically AWS, was a key component of us being able to move quickly, be agile, spend our time working on the algorithmic science, the computer science, and the engineering around a big data platform. The weather company uses AWS today in a variety of manners. Uh, everything from our radar image processing and distribution to weather data, ingestion, storage, weather forecast generation, weather forecast distribution, all of our APIs that power weather.com, the mobile apps, iOS 8 devices, Google Now devices, the list goes on. We use a variety of products uh, in the AWS suite. Uh, the Elastic Load Balancers, EBS Storage, S3 Storage, a variety of compute from the small instance types all the way up to, to the, the largest instance types offered. We use Redshift, we use Workspaces, we use uh, the virtual private networking. Our data platform is one of the largest data API platforms in the world used by hundreds of thousands of developers, used by almost you know, a billion people um, around the planet every month. When you're talking about scale at the volumes that we run, somewhere in the order of magnitude of 100 to 150,000 transactions every second, you need to make sure that you can scale that globally, consistently, and maintain a high level of availability regardless of the environment around you. And without AWS, we would have had to spend a lot more money, spend a lot more time, and it would have really held us back from going after the business that we really wanted to win over the last several years. The weather matters to people, and we need to be consistent and reliable and fast, regardless of what's going on around the world. AWS gives me the ability to scale as necessary to handle constantly changing workloads maintain our 11 millisecond response time target, and do that every day, all of the time, regardless of the events and activities. And so the AWS environment really does enable a better user experience.